Soil is the heart of farming, but it can die. Over time, it becomes hard, cracked, and lifeless. Even if you add chemical fertilizer, crops look weak and the land refuses to produce like it once did. This problem is common in Asia's rice fields, but it can happen anywhere, on farms, in gardens, or even in backyard plots. The good news is farmers have found a simple, affordable way to bring soil back to life. By mixing rice husks with compost made from fish waste and other farm leftovers, they are creating humus-rich soil that is dark, soft, and full of life again. Today I'll show you how this works, why it's so effective, and how you can make the same blend for your own soil. Soil doesn't die overnight. It happens slowly, year after year. When land is farmed the same way without giving back organic matter, the soil loses its natural food. Chemical fertilizers may give crops a quick boost, but they don't replace the organic matter that microbes and earthworms need to survive. Without humus, soil turns compact and heavy. Water either floods on top or drains too quickly. Plants struggle to send roots down. Yields drop, pests increase and soon the soil feels like dead weight instead of living ground. This is the reality across millions of rice farms in Asia, but the same problem happens in gardens everywhere. The key is not more chemicals, it's restoring humus. Rice husk is what's left after milling rice. In Asia, mountains of husk pile up, often burned or thrown away. Yet this waste is a hidden treasure. Rice husks are packed with silica, a mineral that makes plants stronger against pests and diseases. They are also light and porous, which means they improve air circulation and hold moisture in the soil. On their own, husks break down slowly, but when combined with nitrogen-rich compost, they transform into a powerful soil builder. Farmers discovered that rice husk is not just filler, it's the backbone of a soil revival system. Fish waste may not smell great, but it's one of the richest natural fertilizers you can find. It contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and other nutrients that plants love. When you mix fish waste with rice husks and plant residues, something amazing happens. The husks provide structure, the fish provides nutrients and plant matter balances everything out. Together, they compost into dark, crumbly humus that feeds soil microbes and plants alike. Here's a simple formula you can try at home. Use 20 kilograms of rice husk, 10 kilograms of fish waste, and 15 kilograms of chopped plant waste or manure. Add enough water to keep the pile moist. If you squeeze a handful and only a few drops come out, that's perfect. Stack the ingredients in layers. Husk at the bottom. Fish waste, then plant waste on top. Repeat until the pile is about waist high. Cover it with straw or a breathable tarp, and turn it every two weeks. In six to eight weeks, you'll have compost ready to use. For an extra boost, make compost tea. Take one kilogram of your finished compost, mix it into 10 liters of water, stir, and let it sit for 24 hours. Use this liquid to water your crops or spray directly on leaves. It's like a natural vitamin drink for your plants. You know what makes rice husk and compost special is really how they work together. Husks make soil light, airy, and full of pockets where water and microbes can stay. Compost provides rich nutrition that plants can use immediately, and when you combine them they create humus, the dark, sweet-smelling organic matter that healthy soil always has. Humus acts like a sponge, holding water and releasing nutrients slowly over time. It keeps soil fertile for the long run, reduces the need for chemical fertilizer, and helps plants grow strong against pests and diseases. Farmers who use rice husk compost blends often report needing 30 to 40 percent less chemical fertilizer, saving money while improving yields. In Vietnam's Mekong Delta, farmers who were losing yields found that mixing rice husk biochar with compost improved their soil quickly. In the Philippines, farmer groups started community composting centers, where rice husks and fish waste are turned into organic fertilizer. In Indonesia, cooperatives are teaching farmers to add husk compost to their fields. The result is healthier soil, stable yields, and more resilience against irregular rainfall. 
And in Thailand, trials have shown that farmers can cut back chemical fertilizer by nearly half just by adding husk-based compost to their patties. The same success can be repeated in any farm or garden, no matter the size. Of course, there are challenges. Transporting rice husks or collecting fish waste can be hard if you live far from sources. For gardeners, the main issue is the smell of fish waste, which can attract pests if not managed well. The solution is to cover your compost pile with dry straw leaves or a tarp. This keeps the smell in and the pests out. Another challenge is labor. Composting requires turning and monitoring moisture. But remember, healthy soil pays you back many times over with better crops, less fertilizer, and stronger plants. For bigger farms, sharing the work through cooperatives or community groups makes the process easier and faster. Rice husk composting isn't just about improving soil, it's really about closing the farming loop. Instead of throwing away husks, fish waste, and plant scraps, farmers turn them into valuable humus that feeds the land again. This method reduces waste, saves money, and makes farms less dependent on expensive chemicals. It also helps lock carbon back into the soil, which is good for the climate. Governments and researchers across Asia are now supporting these methods, but honestly, they can be used anywhere, whether on large farms or in small backyard gardens. Dead soil does not have to stay dead. Farmers in Asia have proven that by using what's already around them, rice husks, fish waste, and farm residues, they can turn barren land into living, fertile soil again. You don't need expensive tools or complicated techniques, just rice husks, compost, water, and, well, a bit of patience. In a matter of weeks, you can create humus that will keep feeding your soil for years. If this guide was helpful, don't stop here. Join our growing community at Soil and Crop Central by subscribing today. Let's keep sharing practical ways to restore soil, grow better crops, and bring the land back to life, together.